Hello, I am Mia Andrews, and I am with the Abbey Society with one of our performers, Phil, and this is our annual open mic night. University. I'm Angelica Panori. And I'm Emma Kiesling. And you actually just saw footage. Um, the Abbey Society, they, they have fundraisers throughout the whole year. They're constantly serving, raising money for things. And you just saw their, um, their like open mic night fundraiser. So, and a funny fact about the Abbey Society, not funny at all, but we're going to be talking to a member of the Abbey Society later on today. Yes, we are, so stay tuned. That was a wicked fun event, though. We had, yeah. me and Jill hit it up. And we did hit it up. Lots of great, talented students we saw. And not students. The, the, yeah. uh, or the mainline quartet or whatever. They were awesome. And a member of the mainline quartet, you see him opening it. He's like our biggest fan. Like every time he sees us, he's always like, WC. So it's fun. So great. I always like that. Um, Emma, how was your weekend? Weekend was good. I was here just dilly-dallying around Westchester all weekend. Popping around. Getting some work done. What did you get into? Um, me and my roommates, we actually had a barbecue Friday night. And I attended. <laughs> I did. Total fun. Where are the cameras? Where are they? But uh, yeah, we did have, we had like a fun That was a super you success. Would have, you would have thought that it was the 4th of July, the yeah. amount of um, <laughs> detail that we spent on it, but you know, a barbecue with the pending snowstorm. And coming. tank tops, and we were like just freezing. freezing. So, Anyways, good times. But yeah, you can't beat it. Absolutely. Um, so back to reality with this Monday, we have another packed episode of events going on around campus this week. Taylor is speaking with the WCU dance team, um, the Spotlight Organization of the Month. Amber has a weekly sports update. Kristen has an exclusive look inside this past week's auditions for WCU Idol. And Lauren will be giving us this week's weather update. Oh my lord. It's back. Tons one. of stuff. So definitely keep watching. Let's get started here. Rami needs your help still in round two of Mascot Madness taking place this Wednesday, March 23rd. This week, Westchester is challenged up against Kutztown University. I'm sorry, but it's not going to happen. No, absolutely not. Um, be sure to show your WCU pride in this tight competition. Polls will be open 24 hours and use the hashtag VoteRami. Well, if you won the first round, you can win the second round. Definitely. Now come on out this Wednesday to see which Westchester contestant will be crowned Mr. WCU. Now this annual event is hosted by SAC. Will, uh, will be taking place from 7 to 9 p.m. in the Aspen Concert Hall, better known to the students as the Castle Building. Um, this theme's year is superheroes and admissions is free to all students and guests. You truly cannot beat it. No, you can't. It's free. No, you can't. And just like last week, I talked about International Day of Happiness, and that continues this Friday, March 25th, from 10 to 2 in the quad. Head over between classes to check out the free activities by Epsilon Kappa and several other on-campus organizations are hosting that are designed to either increase your happiness or give you information on ways to increase your happiness in your daily life. Can't beat it. I nope. mean, just walking around campus, I get happy. Yeah, nice. and sentimental <laughs> at this point in the year. <laughs> Well, stay tuned for more information on the Ram Run 5K event hosted on April 3rd, benefiting the Domestic Violence Center of Chester County and help bringing awareness to stop sexual assault. Now, it's $25 for WCU alumni and community members and $15 for students. Um, Pre-registration includes a t-shirt. I love a good t-shirt, so yeah. pre-register. And it's just such a healthy way to get involved with the 5K, <laughs> bring awareness to a good cause. And fun fact, my sorority is help co-sponsoring the event with Pi Cap Alpha, and there's a few other organizations. I'm so sorry, not up on that yet, but we've got a couple weeks till the event. We'll definitely keep you informed on I that. I like it. Yeah. What else do we have, Anna? We also, um, going along the theme of my sorority, just uh, personal Personal inside info for you guys. Come out and support Alpha Delta Pi this Tuesday for Trivia Roars. The event benefits our philanthropy, the Ronald McDonald House, and there will be raffle prizes as well as some intense trivia. We've got some teams made up, and hopefully it'll be a good time and um, raising money for our good cause. And the event is taking place in the ballrooms at 7 p.m. Now, do you have any inside peek of those intense trivia questions? Like, could you throw one at me right now? I don't know the trivia questions. I didn't come up with them, but I'm guessing they're going to be like some historical questions, some like cultural or um, pop culture entertainment. Those I feel like you would kick oh, yeah. butt in. So here's a question for you. Okay. Um, the Statue of Liberty, what hand is holding the torch? Left. We'll come back with that answer. After this, Taylor with the dance team, take it away. 
name's Taylor. I'm here with Janetta and Ashley, co-captains of Westchester University dance team. So congratulations on winning Random Excellence and for making it the whole way to Orlando, Florida to compete in the UDA National Championships. So I know this is a really elite competition. Um, there's schools all over the country coming to compete. So what did that mean to you guys as of like what you're going to do differently in your routine, um, how you're going to act as a team, what, like stuff like that? Um, so throughout our season, we had a pretty extensive amount of practices starting um, in October. Uh, that's when our, our, our season actually starts in the summer, which is when we prepared uh, for competition, kind of. So we did, um, we conditioned, we, uh, did, we worked on technique, um, tricks, and all the things that kind of go into making a nationals routine. Um, and so then we had two different choreographers come in, one teach our jazz routine and one teach our hip-hop routine. Um, and then from then on, we kind of took the routines into our own hands and fixed what we needed to, kind of shaped it to what best suited the team performance-wise. Yeah, mm -hmm. awesome. So I know you guys are both the co-captains, you're seniors. So what did this mean as co-captains, bring your team all the way to nationals? Um, what did that mean to you guys? Um, it's definitely a rewarding feeling. Um, it is a student-run organization, so we don't have a coach. So us being the captains, we kind of do play mm -hmm. an athlete role and a coaching role at the same time. Um, so it is a collaborative effort. It's not just in our hands. We do work as a team like for a lot of things. So it wasn't just us, but being that we were in charge for the majority of, for the season, yeah. um, it was a great feeling to know that like all the hard work that we put into the season yeah. paid off. That's definitely a big responsibility. So mm -hmm. congratulations. <laughs> um, you guys placed seventh and third overall in the nation in two different dance categories. What does that mean to you guys as a team now? So you're setting the base for next year. You're leaving them with like a good foundation. Um, so what does that mean as a team? Um, well, this is the first time that we've ever done something like this um, as an organization since we've been the Westchester University dance team. Um, we've definitely come a long way. So placing top 10 um, hasn't occurred for both routines um, in a very long time. And placing third, you get the opportunity to, um, we got medals. Uh, Showcase. Yeah, Showcase. we were on ESPN. ESPN. <laughs> yeah, I think that we all really saw cool. that. That was awesome. That right. was really cool. Yeah, so it was like, one of the awesome. happiest times yeah. of our lives, probably. Definitely. Yeah. And it was a good way to end it. Definitely yeah. a good way to end the yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so congratulations again. Thanks okay. for coming on. Um, so back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Taylor. Spring is here, although it didn't really seem like it this weekend as our team played through some snowflakes. The women's tennis team trailed 2-1 to one following doubles play this weekend. Claire Yule was a huge contributor to her team as she took number one singles in three sets and winning the third tiebreaker lifting WCU to a 5-4 victory over Post University. Maddie Shake was also a huge contributor as a 6-4 and 6-3 winner of second singles. Yule and Shake teamed up at first doubles for an 8-6 win. Keep it up ladies. Moving over to baseball, the Westchester pitching staff was on a roll this weekend as they held Shippensburg under five runs in both games of a doubleheader. The Golden Rams scored a combined 15 runs for a 6-4 and 9-5 victory. Westchester will be moving on to take Wilmington on March 23rd at 3 p.m. to begin the Bill Gates tournament. And for our gymnastics team, it comes to as no surprise that our Lady Rams placed second at the ECAC Division II Championships at Bridgeport on Saturday afternoon. Our girl, Majesta Valentine, took first in the all-around competition with a score of 38.675, while teammate Selena Swanger scored 38.325 and finished second in the all-around. At the conclusion of the meet, Valentine was named the 2016 ECAC Division II Athlete of the Year. Way to finish strong, ladies. Well, that's all I have for this week's Sports Short. Stay tuned with the latest on all of our Golden Rams. I'm Amber Key. Now let's throw it to Kristen with an update on WCU Idol auditions. Kristen? Why did you decide to audition? Um, I just thought it would be a cool thing to try. Um, it's been a while since I've sung, so. Do you have any background, though? Yes, um, I studied voice at a performing arts charter high school, so, and um, I'd actually auditioned, originally auditioned here to be a 
music ed major, but I'm a French major instead, so. Are you excited for your performance today? Yeah, a little, a little excited and a little nervous at the same time. So what are you planning on singing today? I'm pretty sure I'm going to sing When We Were Young by Adele. Do you have any background singing? Um, my mom said I always sang a bunch when I was younger. Uh, I did the eighth grade talent show, but that was about it. And then it wasn't until kind of like recent events that I really like started to heal through singing. And then I kind of like was like, whoa, I can kind of sing. So I've been like doing it a lot. So something like this is kind of a way for me to like get past like the whole thing of like singing in front of people. So have you ever performed before? Just like karaoke. <laughs> That's about it. Not like. Are you excited for your first performance then? Yeah, I'm excited. Great. Excited to like get past my comfort zone. Do you know? Cause you look like a movie. You still sound like a song. My God, this reminds me of when we were young. My name is Gabriela Lobasso. So what did you sing today for your audition? Uh, I sang Still Haven't Found What I'm Looking For by U2. What a great song. How are you feeling about your audition? I'm feeling good. One of the judges said I have a rich vocal tone, so that's awesome. <laughs> so um, do you have any musical background then? Yeah, I've been singing pretty much my whole life and in and out of choirs and in rock bands and whatnot. So that's awesome. <laughs> good luck to you with the rest of the competition. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> We have some very talented singers here at Westchester. Auditions in front of the brothers are now over, but if you want to still compete, you still have a chance to do so electronically. All you have to do is send a video of yourself singing to bh790631 at wcupa.edu and bring the $10 registration free fee to preliminaries. If you want to watch the competition, preliminaries are on March 25th, starting at 4.30 p.m. in the Sykes Theater, and finals are on April 3rd, starting at 1 p.m. in the Sykes Theater. The schedule and more details are on Facebook at Westchester Idol. There is a lot of talent in this competition, so be sure to either email your audition or go and watch and support our contestants. Now let's th send it to Lauren with the weather. Lauren? Thanks, Kristen. Happy spring, Westchester. It's officially spring, but it might not feel like it. Tuesday, the low will be in the mid-50s with mostly cloudy skies. The high jumps to the upper 60s on Wednesday with more cloudy skies. Thursday will be our warmest day this week with a high in the low 70s. Then we drop to the high 50s on Friday with a good chance for some rain. Saturday will be nice and sunny with the temperature in the high 50s. Then we end this week on Sunday with more clouds and a high in the upper 50s. You can stay up to date with more weather forecasts by following the Quad on Twitter and Instagram, liking us on Facebook, and visiting us anytime online at wcuquad.com. Reporting for the Quad, I'm Lauren Alexander. Have a great week, Westchester. Now let's send it back to Angelica and Emma. Thank you for that weather, Lauren. Now, before we um, left off, we, Angelica asked me a trivia question. Yes. do you remember it? What hand is the Statue of Liberty holding her torch torch and I guess left and I was wrong incorrect it is the right hand I am the worst at trivia yeah no we actually did just learn that about Emma we just did some <laughs> trivia quick fire rounds back here and yeah and you're Angelica's amazing like fun fact there are very very smart people on this set because I was Jared? asking some random ones yeah R Rich, Jared, you. I would love to bring them in and just do some quick trivia with yeah, them. Yeah, ask me a question real quick. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. You got it. She's got it. Well, what, are the, what is the capital of Kenya? I, I don't know. <laughs> She's not that good. No, where, when was Elvis' first ever concert? I know we literally, we just 1968? 1954. I was so All right, but believe it or not, she, I will give her the credit. No, I was pretty good. I, I asked her some crazy spot. questions, and she was like, won it. So that was a good time. So anyways. As you can see, hard-hitting journalism happening here on the weekly set. As always. <laughs> um, if you guys have any trivia questions that you want to send our way, maybe that could be a new segment. We could do some fun tri uh, trivia. Send it to us at wcweekly at wcupa.edu. Um, but for the most part, if you have any actual news that you want us to say on air, just email us at the same email you can get on set. We can interview you. We love sharing, um, we love sharing your knowledge around, so yeah. send it to us. If you Absolutely. want to get involved, auditions are happening soon, um, so stay tuned. We'll have some more information about that. Yep. It'll be early, early April. So, encouraging all um, of you future broadcast journalism 
interested students, trivia, trivia, trivia answering. Um, there's so many different ways to get involved here at WC Weekly. So, yes. And as always, be sure to follow us on Facebook for segments, events, and much more. Yeah, that is true. Um, as always, I'm Angelica Panori. And I'm Emma Kiesling. Have a great week, Westchester University. And an even better weekend. What? Which is the only mammal that can't jump? Stop. I feel like you're reading through my laptop right now. A platypus? Mammals, people. Elephant. Where does the British Prime Minister live? He lives right in Notting Hill. Notting Hill. 10 Downing Street. What activity other than jumping are kangaroos good at? Kicking. How'd you know that? Is this real? I don't yeah, know. Ask another, it's another one. Ask another one. Ask another one. Hey, did you want me to just go through the whole thing? <laughs> How many months have 31 days? No, but you're not allowed to because this is trivia. Five. You have to know it right now. Seven.